Greetings folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about what I consider to be the top 10 benefits of using GIS in education. Ready for my list? Number one, students when they're using GIS in education from primary, secondary, community college, university, informal settings, no matter what the level, they're actually grappling with key issues of the 21st century. Issues that are complex and are increasingly affecting our everyday lives. Issues like water, natural hazards, population change, crime, climate, biodiversity, all of these issues have a spatial component and they can be grappled with, studied, made sense of through the use of geographic information systems in the classroom or in the field. So they're solving, they're grappling with key issues of the 21st century, issues that are not going away. They're going to become increasingly important as the 21st century wears on. Second, students are problem solving. GIS was created to be a problem solving tool, so it makes sense that we're using GIS in the classroom to be a problem solving sort of a endeavor. So GIS is all about solving real problems. And it's also about inquiry. The students are asking geographic scientific questions. They're gathering data. They are analyzing that data. They are evaluating it. They're communicating results with that data and they're asking additional questions so the cycle continues. So inquiry and problem solving are my number two top 10 benefit of using GIS in education. Number three, working with real data. We keep talking about big data. Well, GIS was about big data before big data was even a phrase. Grappling with satellite imagery with transportation networks, watersheds, river systems, population data in a number of different scales. All of these data sets are very rich in content spatially and also in their attribute tables and students are actually grappling with and dealing with data and all of the associated issues that have to do with data. For example, data quality and quantity and how much is too much and can I trust that data and can I contribute my own data and, and, and so on. So they're working with real data. Fourth reason or fourth top 10 benefit of GIS in education in my view is field work. GIS was created to be a great tool for working in a classroom, in a laboratory setting, in an, a, a school or university, but also a tool to be used out in the field. It's all one thing to understand the world uh, from our computer screens, right, or our tablets or our laptops, but we, they need to get out there in the field and gather data and bring it in and analyze it. So, and some of that an analysis is actually uh, done in the field itself nowadays. So field work and by so doing students are actually understanding their communities better they're actually being connected with their communities and all the issues maybe it's an urban greenway maybe it's some uh, invasive species plant species in the community maybe it's busy intersections or dangerous intersections and so on maybe these are issues that the community is grappling with maybe water quality and quantity whatever it is the students are actually gathering data in the field and and analyzing it and connecting with their community and actually feel like, hey, I have a role in my community. I have a role to play in my community. I'm a key decision maker in my community. So that's my fourth of the top 10 benefits of GIS education. The fifth one is geoliteracy. GIS and education encourages geoliteracy. What I mean by geoliteracy is knowledge about the earth, above, below, and on the earth's surface. I view geoliteracy as this three-legged stool, content knowledge about how systems work, about how scale works, about biomes, about energy flows, the carbon cycle, population demographic migrations, uh, all of that is content knowledge. But then there's skills, and not just the GIS skills, not just the techie skills about running an overlay, knowing about datums, uh, running an intersect, uh, and so on, but skills about communicating, skills about working with data, as I mentioned earlier, skills about uh, dealing with data quality issues, and the geographic perspective. Understanding the whys of where, looking at the Earth as a series of interconnected, inter-scale um, and temporal connections is really what it is. The geographic perspective, why did things occur where they did in this particular problem? Are they changing? Why are they changing? How are they changing? So geoliteracy, content knowledge, skills, 
and the geographic perspective. The sixth reason why I believe that uh, GIS is of benefit in use in education is critical thinking about not just the data like we talked about, but even how I'm framing my problem, the questions I'm posing, that influences my results. So critical thinking about my methods, the models, uh, and so on that I'm using in a GIS. That's the sixth reason. The seventh reason why I believe GIS is a benefit in all kinds of education and all kinds of levels and in all kinds of disciplines are well, the seventh reason is meaningful work with technology. We're not just using technology for technology's sake, but folks, we can't solve these issues with, with paper documents, okay? We've got to use a robust tool that allows us to bring in multiple different scales, multiple different kinds of data. So it's meaningful work with technology, types of form, formats of data, how to download it or how to stream it, how to make effective use of it, story maps, for example, web mapping applications, how to actually use your images if they're online. What format do they need to be in? Do I need to resize them? All that sort of thing is meaningful work with technology. Also interdisciplinary work. I touched on this earlier, but when students are using GIS, they're using geography. Sure, they're using geographic information science. They're using computer technology. They're using web technology, HTML, JavaScript, etc. They're using mathematics. They're, they're touching on history. They're learning communication skills. They might be using language arts kinds of, of uh, skills and abilities. So lots of interdisciplinary work that can be done in GIS. I mean, the list goes on. Criminal justice and uh, hydrology, geology, uh, demographics, and so on and so forth. So interdisciplinary work, just like you do in the workplace. Also, number nine of the top 10 benefits of GIS in education, it provides career pathways for students. They're learning key skills that are going to make them, in no matter what field they go into, better decision makers, more critically reflective decision makers, ability to be flexible and adaptable and lifelong learners. All those sorts of things are provided in the use of geotechnologies in education, I believe. And finally, spatial thinking spatial thinking. It's understanding that the world's issues and problems can be grappled with more effectively with the spatial framework by looking at the world in, in geographic terms and dealing with the world with a tool that actually was built to help us make sense of all these interconnections, whether it's the influence of landforms and climate on the distribution of cities or crops or where they can be grown or supply chain management. Hey, I, you like your phone? How did it get there, right? What what inputs were, were used? What, what things were mined or extracted or manufactured to construct this thing? And uh, where was it distrib distributed from? And where are the target market for these things? So all that supply chain management uh, of this water bottle, where did it come from? Where did the water come from? Where did this plastic, in this case, material come from to be able to make this, and then how are these water bottles uh, distributed around the planet? So all of that sort of thing is sp spatial thinking in action. So these are the top 10 benefits that I see of using GIS in education, grappling with key issues of the 21st century, inquiry and problem solving, working with real data, field work and community connection, geoliteracy, critical thinking, meaningful work with technology, interdisciplinary work, career pathways, and spatial thinking. Looking forward to hearing what your top reasons for using GIS in education might be. Look forward to your comments and feedback. Thanks for listening.